Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hobbits. And it feels like I haven't said that in a very long time because it's been a very long time since I shot a video here in the apartment, even though you've probably seen some stuff. You've probably seen that was a huge long week break it's because I was in Bamberg with work. Bad seed brewing. We were in Bamberg and Nuremberg for Paul Viviala. I have some videos that I'm on air, which is going to be great. There is a little video of visiting two breweries in Nuremberg, trying root beer. There's a Schlinkala experience video with a tour of the brewery drinking Schlinkala straight from the lagering tanks. Uh, and what else? Uh, we got a tour, a pub crawl in Bamberg video. We also got a video, video of touring legendary breweries outside of Bamberg, like Wagner, Kehrwieder, uh, Knoblach, Münchenbacher, or Bauweissenta is what they're called. Uh, amazing time. Then I got home. During the trip, my girlfriend was at her parents' place with the kids. And somehow her through, I guess it's the, the maternity group, everyone there got sick. Everyone got the norovirus. So they got it. I got home. They were kind of getting over it, but they weren't completely. So I got it too. So yeah, uh, I missed out on the, the Bad Seed 5th anniversary party and everything. But I'm luckily better now. And I'm dying for a beer and something great because it's been nuts. <laughs> I really like norovirus. Ugh, not fun. So um, let's not get into details. We're cracking a bottle of Lambic. Uh, the girlfriend and I are celebrating uh, that we are back in full swing with health. And she loves Lambic, as do I. So we're drinking a bottle of Buffcont Moonwalk. Most couples that I know, they will pop a bottle of nice white wine or whatever. We pop bottles of Lambic. We never, we had bottles of wine from our trip to Alsace, but if we crack something to drink together, it's almost always lambics. <laughs> so, but they're also often lower ABV and you can drink more of it. So yeah, this is a 6%. This is Moonwalk from 22. This is their one and two year old lambic with apricots from Ardèche in France. And they says this vintage or this blend is characterized by a lactic acidic profile. So I've had this before at NBCC and I've had other lambics from them with apricots. And I think, was it Smulchsmurf? Something like that. Uh, so I know they can be really tasty, but I've heard from some people that this is quite sour. But let's see how it is. So Poor is a nice, slightly hazy, golden orange color. Almost looks like fleshy apricots. It's got a white head. Let's check out the aroma on Moonwalk. Oh man, this takes me back to uh, the days of trying Fufun for the first time. Just like loads of fleshy, bright, apricot aroma. But this smells more funky, more oaky than Fafoon. And a, li a little less juicy. I can still juicy, but there's more of a funk profile compared to Fafoon. But Fafoon with age will get funky, as we found out in that blind tasting where the oldest one was just mind-blowingly great, which I did not expect for a, a fruit and lambic. But you can definitely sense the high lactic sourness in it as well, because you can. It, it almost reminds me a little bit of smelling an Utbrunn, where it has that sharp lactic sourness. But it smells really delicious, just like those bright, fleshy uh, apricots, apricot candy almost, like apricot Haribo, apricot as peach candies. Just like this stone fruit galore. The the funkiness is mild, but it's definitely there, and there's oakiness, as I said, and the funk is. It's a bit like musty, also a little bit woodsy. There's almost like, like a leafy thing, but a topsoil or something, but it smells good. It smells really nice. Let's try it. Cheers. Oh, oh man. <laughs> That's really tasty. Maybe it's because it's my first beer in a week. <laughs> But um, that is lovely. It's not as vibrantly juicy, fresh apricot as like Fufun. But I think it's because it's a 22 vintage maybe. So I'm guessing this is bottled in 22. Yeah. So it's actually been exactly a year in the bottle now. 09. So is that August or something like that? No, wait, no, it's September. So yeah, September, 21st of September. So it's over a year in the bottle and Maybe that's why it developed a little bit of more funky flavor. High acidity, but I do not think it's too much at all. I think I've had more 
lambic with much more acidity where it's been much more too much wow that sounds silly but i have <laughs> um, but it's the same fleshy bright apricot flavor with oak drying oak a little bit of a tannic thing on the back it's topsoily kind of leafy interesting nuance like an almost earthiness and then like the funk is even softer on the flavor but it's there it's again topsoily maybe a little bit musty but it's super light fairly simple lambic with the fruit really being in, in the forefront but it's just really well made and really really tasty lovely it's not mind-blowing it's just really damn good really good lambic would i age this further hmm, not necessarily um i mean that would to be developed funk but i think you'd lose more fruit character and even though you can see this is packed with fruit especially in the bottom of the bottle we should try after this class pour some out because um, it looks like they use a lot of fruit because it's so hazy um but yeah i don't think i necessarily would age it for much longer so it's definitely more hazy with the last bit here from the bottle because i poured it it's been in the fridge for ages like a few weeks so you could see there was a slight separation and i had the first pour so let's just see here maybe a touch more apricot maybe a little bit more jammy on the nose more full more sour yeah i think there's more apricot then actually a touch more but it also seems more sour now <laughs> after uh, getting that in interestingly it also looks much more cloudy it feels much more rich and almost thick so i'm guessing that's just because some of the the apricot in suspension gets lifted but yeah this also feels more sour but again stone fruits are sour and those fruit sugars and everything in lambic often can it can make them more sour over time that's why i often with fruit lambic try to drink him reasonably fresh um, but i think it's really good is is it as good as fufun when it's the best of the best on top great i don't know maybe i like that a little bit more sometimes it's just a classic really but it's a great little i guess somewhat of a nod to it because um i think fufun was the first to my knowledge apricot lambic but i'm not 100 percent sure so i'm not a mastermind of lambic although i do know something but this is still lovely 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 so in terms of grade for a buffalo moon walk like a 92 something like that really nice apricot lambic if you love apricot lambics you're gonna love this so if you guys had a chance to try buffalo's moon walk specifically the 22 version let me know i have another apricot lambic from them which is apricot lambic and some kind of grape and i think it's alsatian grapes i can't remember what it was it's in the cellar but i think we should try and get through some of these apricot fruit lambics now instead of sitting on them for much longer because i got some and i think uh, do i have more i actually also got some i got a lot of wild ale actually around to try i also got some stuff from inside cellars i'm really stoked about trying i got the new uh, bucket collab the um, sensei it's gonna be interesting people some people are even saying it's better than batch one which is rarely something that happens but yeah lovely stuff if you guys had moonwalk let me know as always from Scott, subscribe check out the facebook fan page and twitter instagram give the video a thumbs if you enjoyed it ring the bell for future notifications about videos and i almost like cheers and see you guys in another beer review